guys uh, I was just wanting to <clears throat> make a video of the uh, Motors uh, Tractionator adventure tire I got uh, for my GSA uh, in my 2017 GSA I had this tire for a brief period before you know I had taken it off road and then I had a minor <laughs> mishap but uh, these tires worked really well in uh, any kind of an off-road situation and uh, in the uh, in the road they are pretty good but uh, you know as uh, regular knobbies go uh, it takes a little bit of an effort to uh, you know get them to lean over a little bit and if it's a groove payment uh, you know it's going to be a little bit of uh, you know, you're going to see some wandering around there and you would see uh, you know the other reviews by i think uh, chaparral motorsports and kyle bradshaw he's done a really good job explaining the tire but i just wanted to show you guys how the tires look on the gsa which i installed and uh, you know i will keep updating uh, in terms of uh, you know how they wear and stuff like that because uh, some people <clears throat> say that uh, you know it cracks a little bit and stuff but I chatted with uh, the uh, Motors USA guys and uh, they said that if you maintain the uh, actual factory pressure you should be all right uh, which is 36 and 42 for the GSA so uh, I love the tire you know even if it cracks I don't care because I don't really want to go too fast on the streets and and you can't beat stuff uh, you know these tires in an off-road situation so that's why I got it again and uh, you know even if it gives me about 70,000 miles uh, you know I think I should be okay with it okay let me just show you the tire and then I will keep updating on uh, how they wear uh, so I just got them yesterday so here it is okay so this is the back tire so if you see the uh, lugs they're really nice uh, and thick lugs you see the uh, the depth on these guys you know it's really big it's probably twice the size of a uh, you know TKC 80 or stuff like that and uh, the next step would be the rallies tires which are I think you know the lugs are a little uh, offset and a little smaller but I think they were a little faster than this one so it looks really you know badass and it really works well so I just love it on uh, on my GSA and let me show you the front tire too so the front tire it's just really good you know the thickness of the lugs are like you know really nice so I just love it and it looks really good uh, for off-road it just works fantastic you know so hopefully uh, they will not have any issues uh, in terms of cracking and stuff like that so I think uh, I should uh, and I think sometimes if you you know I've seen one guy who's got about 6,000 miles on it and he didn't have any cracks at all and he wasn't being too aggressive in terms of speed on these tires so I think uh, if you treat them like knobbies and not go 100 miles an hour all the time I think it might be okay anyway this is my just new Motaz Tractionator Adventure tires which I installed on my 2019 uh, 1250 GSA so I will keep you guys posted. Okay guys, uh, I'm just riding on my Moda's uh, adventure tire. <clears throat> you know, I just noticed that uh, at about 40 miles an hour, there is a bit of a howl from the front. But once you get to about 50, uh, the sound disappears. <laughs> That's strange. And of course, uh, when you're trying to uh, lean over, there is no sound. So if you can see now, there's absolutely no sound. But uh, when you're at about 40, it just starts to howl a little bit. But, uh, you know, you can hear it now. But uh, it's not its not bad at all. It's not bad at all, considering uh, what kind of a performance you get uh, uh, on the 
on the off-road. Yep, at 40 it howls a little bit. At about 47 it disappears. <laughs> Strange. Other than that, uh, yeah, it's it is a really good tire. Uh, I'm just having um, really comfortable. I'm just taking it uh, to the parking lot so I do some uh, practice with it and uh, scrub the tires a bit more. And uh, and I'm going to do a small, uh, you know, um, loop on the road to get the, the feel of this tire so I will uh, talk to you guys uh, in a bit okay guys I'm going to uh, do some slow speed maneuvers and just scrub the tires just a little bit first sit down and and do the turns <coughs> and then I'm going to stand and do the same thing Good practice too. Okay, let me do the standing now. do some little faster knee down kind of things I guess I need more speed on this. But, uh, okay, there's a bit of a gravel area here. Let me try to go on that one. Use the air pressure here. It's a good place to practice eventually. Yeah, now I'm at uh, in the faster speeds. Uh, so at 60 here, at about 60 miles an hour, the uh, the sound of the wind uh, pretty much takes over, so there is no sound of the uh, uh, tire, so it really doesn't bother you at all. So I guess uh, that's that's my uh, kind of initial impressions on uh, this tire. It's it's just gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. You know, I think uh, the problem people are having is probably if you want to be too aggressive on it, or if you want to go too high speeds. I guess that's when um, they see the cracking and stuff like that. I guess, but uh, I will keep you posted. It looks like man, uh, it's as good as any street tire for me at this this time, and and of course the off-road stuff is just absolutely incredible. So anyway, I will uh, keep you guys posted on uh, how much mileage I get and uh, what are my other thoughts about this tire. So uh, just uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will keep you posted. Uh, talk to you guys later.